Lima beat the world record in solo no fill versus full squads with 37 kills. And to make things better, it was without a bot lobby, without boosting, and without smurfing. Let's see how he did it. All right, so let's just dive into it. Super excited to see this. This, according to, I actually saw a comment from Moki Sniper mentioning this. When you drop in, so unlike a lot of other world records, this is not done in a level 10 lobby. A lot of people say that, you know, like some of the world records are in level 10 bot lobbies and whatever. Limo, however, you can kind of see diamond trails and stuff throughout the game, supposedly. Uh, so I'm really excited to see just how this goes, just how he did this. Because uh, obviously a world record is always a delight to watch, especially a high kill world record such as 37k. So let's just watch how he does it. Waiting a little bit for the smart, smart, good counter. He's getting the damaging, good jump shots. Good start, good start. Double car? Alright, alright. See what it's. I vibe with it, I dig it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you got it, you got it. This is duos? Oh no, this is trios as well. Nice. So this is uh, obviously solo versus squads, which I think is a very important distinction. Uh, uh, for obvious reasons. There's a difference between being in a stack and getting a uh, world record and getting it on your own. So I'm really excited to keep seeing this. Smart to swap this out. Really thinking about it, but he does have cells, so he can still get the blue. Okay, he goes with auto-swap. Wants to keep the action up. This guy, as far as I understand it, he grinds kills and like world records and stuff all the time. That's what he did when he was doing my thousand uh, dollar challenge. He actually did upload a video of him trying it, so like I think it's a full uncut version of it. If you want to check that out, uh, I'll, I'll link it in the description after this game. You can check it out after this video. Either way, let's move on. Oh, smart to take the high ground here. Get the hot swap. So he doesn't seem to speak. I don't. I don't know why. I assume it's because he's on. Um, maybe he wasn't streaming this. Maybe this was off stream or something. Uh, but the guy is Australian. For those who don't know, so these are Australian lobbies. I would assume. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the ping is about that. Ooh. Like one of the things I love with this guy is he has like. Like, a lot of streamers you see nowadays, they have, like, good movement or their own roller or whatever. This guy's just mouse and keyboard with solid beams. That's it. He doesn't have any movement gimmicks, sorry to say, right? He just has solid mechanical aim and more of a, as I said before, like a mechanical movement. Very smart. Very fun to see. A little bit, uh, the closest I would compare that to would be someone like uh, Shiv FPS, who also has, like... Not too many movement abilities, it's all about smart positioning, smart place, and good aim. And that's really all you need at the end of the day. Because movement doesn't actually mean too much, other than looking cool for the viewer. So let's see how this goes, obviously very smart grenades as well. Forcing them out of cover, ooh, good damage on the Octane. Thought that would be the lifeline, but... We saw this in the world record video as well, he has such good... Ooh... Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> uh, he has such good uh, car recoil control. It's really nice to see, actually. I've been grinding it a lot in the uh, firing range, but nowhere near this close. Oh boy! You got it, you got it. That is good. That is super. That is very nice. Let's see Paul Allen's one clip. Not as good. This is just light to see, just non-stop action. It's just, it's uncut. You don't have to cut anything, it's just beautiful. Oh, he's whiffing. But he got the opening. Failed to be light, but he got it, he got it. Completely unrelated, I'm just gonna insert myself a little bit. These headphones I have, they're great, but they've been squeaking. So when I like record stuff, or I, or I, or I talk, they like squeak, and it is so distracting. I don't think you pick them up on the microphone. But like, it's, it's right in my ear. It's the worst thing ever. If anyone has any uh, DT1990 Pros, I guess let me know in the comments if you've encountered that. I think Shiv mentioned he had some issue with his thing squeaking or something, so... Yeah, you're editing this, Shiv. Just let me know. Alright, how's he gonna do this? So, Kha'Zix set up fully, but this guy knows. Oh, you can push that. You got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Horizon moment. I don't think I'll be able to do stuff like this anymore because it nerfed Horizon, or at least her Q, but... I think he'll still be able to do high kill games with her. She's still such a good pub stomper legend. You just can't beam people coming up the gravity lift. 
I don't even know if that's like a solid thing at the moment or if that's just gonna end up being a... Oh! Smart to move forward here. Don't let him reset. Get the opening damage. Oh, that was actually really nice. <laughs> oh, a face full of Mastiff. Love to see it. I wonder, I wonder if we're gonna start noticing that he's like choking a bit. Right? Like at what point does he start? Like if you grind a lot of kills, I don't think you actually end up choking as much. But I know personally that whenever I get close to 20 kill a game, I always start choking a little bit. I start being a little bit nervous, being like, oh wow, are we really gonna get it? Is this really gonna happen? It is a little bit scary. So I'm really curious to see if we'll pick up on that in the gameplay. I can sort of feel that something is happening. It's maybe he's getting a bit excited. He's like, this is gonna be a good game. He obviously doesn't know at this very point, wow, this is gonna be the solo no fill world record, right? It, it's too early for him to say. But you can you can notice a bit of a excitement. Maybe that's just me putting my own emotions on on the video, and I'm just feeling a little bit of excitement. But it's really cool to see. We got a lifeline package. Time to go for it. So this was like I think about right when Broken Moon was released, wasn't it? Let me see. I have a like November twenty seventh. Apex season fifteen release date. It was around then, wasn't it? First. Okay, so it was the same month. But this was a few weeks after. I was just wondering. So at this point, you've kind of figured out, like, the rotations for Broken Moon and stuff. And I've said this before, if you guys, obviously, you gotta win your fights. But if you can win your fights and you still can't get a, a 20 bomb, rotations is a large part of it. Oh! He got, he got surprised. <laughs> rotations is a massive part of getting a 20 bomb. You have to be in the right place. You have to find people, obviously. A lot of people say, oh, I can't get a 20 bomb because I never get killed. People you shoot, and you're dropping wrong. You gotta drop hot, and then you gotta rotate where people are going. And you want to kind of meet them where basically like obviously if they drop on the edge of zone you want to rotate in so you run into them when they rotate in uh or you're at the right place when they rotate in and then hopefully a third party will come in hopefully not at the same time so you can kill both of the squads and you just kind of repeat that cycle as his own closes as he close out a fight uh, close out a fight i'm not the world record holder i'm just very good at fury so you know <laughs> take it take it with a grain of salt all right, what's he gonna do now? He's looking around. He's trying to figure out the rotation. In the case of Broken Moon, I feel like it, it's very... As far as rotations go... Why, why does it like, stutter like that? As far as rotations go, there's like a almost surefire chance that you're gonna run into enemies around Prominent. Either to or from it. It's just a lot of people seem to go to Prominent for some reason. I mean, all the... Zip lines more or less converge on Prominent, so you are bound to do it. There's also a very central point in the map. But now it's kind of like on the edge of the map, which also makes sense if you think about it. Like, because very you very rarely see a team all playing edge, right? Or sorry, playing the end game, playing like zone five as in pubs. It happens. But like most teams generally are either outside of the ring or they're inside, like right on the edge. So it makes sense to be looking for kills on the edge. That's where you'll find most of the enemies lagging behind. And now he finds two of them fighting, just like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll just comment on the macro in between here. So, you know, if someone wants to pick up on some 20 bomb strats, you know, you know, you don't have to get a world record. Like, I've said it before too, a large, uh, weight, like a large part of getting a 20 bomb, like, I, I'd have to divide it, right? I've, I've, I have a better percentage in one of my guide videos, but I'm pretty sure it's like 20%, like 50% is luck, if not higher. But then you have like skill, like mechanical aim movement. Oh yeah, he is, he is choking a bit. He is whiffing. Good choice on shooting that. Oh my god, he's just getting them. He's just getting a little bit of damage in. It's all he needs gets the entry. You have all the hot swaps. You got your ultimate. You're chilling. You got your 20 already. Not even zone too closing. Good beam on that dude. The Valkyrie. And now it's just, the, I assume, the catalyst left. Yeah. Oh, that, that leaf was eating it. Okay, you can tell it. You can tell the way he's looking around. He's starting to feel it. He is feeling it. Something is brewing right now. He's even hitting the escape button for no reason. This guy is... <laughs> Man, I would kill to hear some commentary from this guy when he was when he was doing it. Again, like, if he wasn't streaming, what are you gonna do about it? And honestly, obviously, I know I'm pretty late on this. I, again, the video came out in November. I don't... When it comes to reacting to stuff and choosing stuff to react to, I generally avoid... Uh, watching stuff that's recent. Because, you know, it's recent. The video is still doing its thing. I don't want to rip off their thing i generally want to try and you know have it be a few months old maybe a year old or whatever but in this case because he ended up doing my one thousand dollar challenge 
Um, by the way, again, just check it out. It's on my channel. Um, but because he did that, I felt like it was fair to check this out as well. Because this is like his claim to fame. And I just want to see it. So I, I haven't, again, I haven't seen this beforehand. I have like, I think I've seen it on my on my browse feed, but I never really clicked it. So any recognition is good recognition. Oh boy. That might end up working perfectly for him, right? Oh, it does. Oh, what a nade. He goes up. And it's a third one. He's chilling here. He sees it. He's like, oh, I can't commit as hard as I wanted to. He's failing it. Oh no, he's going he's gonna to die. Get out of there. That Octane should be repeaking him. I don't know if they're reviving or what. If that Octane peaked him, that would have been over. But they just let him they let him get back. Now he can go back in. He's gonna get it. I don't think it hurt or rises, but I might be might be my equalizer or something. I think it would be great assault. Oh they're just leaving now. Alright, good beam. Oh Yeah, just finish this guy up. They're not gonna follow you. They made that very clear. Just let him heal up and wait. Average uh, Rampart <laughs> enjoyers. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was... I can relate to that. I, I whiff on diagonals all the time. I've said this before. My my biggest weakness when it comes to aiming and like in general and also in Apex is anytime I'm on a diagonal and the enemy is on a diagonal. It is confusing. Vertical. I'm pretty decent at verticals. Horizontal, pretty decent at those, but again, the di diagonal just doesn't happen. I don't. Did we see something on the right? Uh, I guess I'm tweaking. He's, he heard the shots too, I think, this way. Yeah, there you go. Again, notice how none of these are on like the center zone. Like most of these are always by the edge of zone, by the edge of next zone. Never center zone, never late game. Maybe well, he'll find one team at the very end that's just sitting there camping, because that happens all the time. But again, these guys are all edge. But he's pretty stacked as well with the red armor. There you go. Oh, he's feeling it. He's choking it. Oh, the fire, he almost stepped in and that would have killed him. That's some fast thinking. That is some fast goddamn thinking. Yeah, just keep holding this, man. He tried to climb on you. Smart. Super smart. Bit risky, but it worked out for you. And there you go. I think that was a full stack as well. Good stuff. Now, now personally, like, I, I'd have this urge just to get on high ground. Okay, so I understand why he switches now. I understand, because he was whiffing with the Mastiff, and I would be absolutely gutted if I will lose a... Uh, I guess he feels the world record at this point is 29 kills, right? Like, I would be absolutely gutted if I lost because I kept whiffing the Mastiff. And that is like, that's like one of those guns that you have to be super accurate with. You cannot afford to lose once, or rather miss once, because then you will lose. Oh, there's another guy here. End zone's closing. You gotta be careful here, man. You gotta be hella careful. One could be a solo. This could be that solo. Smart rotation. Smart rotation. Let's see it. And then you can just hold him out of zone, assuming nobody's holding you out of zone. No problem. Come on. He got it. He's got it. Like this. Obviously. He's got it. Let's see. That wasn't even a solo. Okay. So is that a full team then? Does he ult I was actually about to say, yeah. Like, because I was thinking he could ult them out of the thing he's kind of forced to oh okay he's got the off angle there that's very smart that is extremely smart oh my god yeah punishing them extremely well with this Ooh, overstate is welcome it's also super risky because what could end up happening is he gets third party just uh two more squads one solo but one more full squad that's just waiting for him, you know, like if he spent, yeah, he knows it as well. He has to look backwards. Like if he spends too much time here, he's going to get third party and it's not going to be pretty, but he also knows they have to go into zone. They don't have infinite amount of heals. Huge. Just one more bullet. We'll do it. Maybe another. <laughs> zone doesn't take that hard yet. He's low though. You got it. There you go. Giant DK from Smash 64. <laughs> That's the best Smash, man. That is, in my opinion, right? I don't know what the comments think, but like, if you played Smash 64, you know that is the best Smash by far. God damn. It was, they got so like, 
advanced afterwards, you know? Wait, they're also in the zone. They were just sitting there the whole time? What? Yeah, there was a rat behind the whole time. Or oh, is there a full team here as well? I, I saw an... I thought I saw an Octane. This might actually be the other full team. It is. What are you guys doing? What? What? Why are you, What am I watching? You saw him on the right. Oh, he's died his own. Uh, okay. Alright. That means there's a solo. You have to 1v1 for the world record here for all 37 kills. Why does it say 37? Wait, where? It was two duos. The math doesn't add up. What I'm thinking, I see a rest beacon. Oh, let's see what happens. It has to be a full squad left then. I'm doing the math wrong somewhere. What could have happened is it? Yeah, they must have revived or something. It's a full squad. And I think some people would add even more credit to this. So if you don't know, almost every world record that has been broken when it comes to kills, doesn't matter if it's no solo or whatever, has involved respawn farming. And respawn farming, it offsets a lot of randomness. It makes it like you can get, you know, you kill one, you kill two people on a team and then you just, you know, finish them and run away and they will respawn and give you more kills. Um, and there's a strategy in that. But what's interesting with this world record run is he has not done that, at least intentionally, once. I'm pretty sure he's closed out every fight he's had so far. And, uh, you know, spoiler alert, he got 37 kills and there's three of them left. So it's safe to assume he did not let them respawn farm. There's also no respawn uh, beacons left on the map. So I, I don't see how he would do it. But that's really cool. I'm really excited to see how he's going to tackle this team. So it makes sense to take the positioning here. It's a large open space. It's got the head glitch. It's got a 2x R301. Uh, it's golden as well. He could use the anvil. Maybe it's not an anvil enjoyer on the 301. I am not the either. Did you hear that breath? Was that Horizon or was that Limo? Someone just sighed. 100% someone just sighed. Might have been him. I'd be feeling it, man. I'd be feeling the heat. Like, this is basically one of the the, mo the highest solo no kill kill games already. I don't know what the previous world record was. But if he, he knows if he gets all three of them, that'll be a lot higher. So he needs them to make a mistake. They're very slow as well. He just needs to zone the closer to have less cover. Is that a Kraber? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. At least he has, like, this tiny angle here. There we go. Get the punish on him, King. You got it, you got it. It's one. There you go, one down. Can you get the finisher as well? Huge, huge. Watch out for the Kraber. You good? One me two. Just pick him off. Just pick him off. That's all you need to do. They're, they're in a big open space. There's like a, a small tree. And that's about it. And a little bridge there on the left. Oh my god, what a beam. Good stuff. Is he gonna need it? It's gonna need it. Get real quick. Get the finish. He jumps out of cover. He just tanks it. All right. 1v1, you can do it. It's beautiful. This is like textbook. Textbook pub something. Oh, okay. He all ends on this one. I heard a... But he heard a res or something that I didn't hear, but no. He just gets the finish. That makes sense as well. For some reason, this guy was here. Now he has to hot swap. Okay, so what I think happens is that stutter is something... Chaotic much had the same thing. This is like a recording bug. If it would happen when it's shooting, it would look very weird. It would look like it's, uh, like, snapping. You got it. You got it. Like, you cannot lose. Oh, he does not want to. He doesn't want to play around. He knows he has it. Maybe he wants to farm damage. I don't know. But he does not want to go in, even though he got the crack in opening damage and had full health, almost full health. He wants to play this by the book. Oh, interesting. Okay. He's doing some sneaky plays. Sneaky beat. It's risky though, because this could backfire if the lifeline gets a beam on him here. Oh, he's 100% playing with his food. He's trying to really... He feels that he's won this, and now he's just trying to like get the damage number as high as possible. Makes sense. Honestly. What? He's rejoicing. He's just relishing it right now. He 
You can just ult at any time and it's over. Especially because there's no real cover. I think he has like cover for a little bit longer than she does. It's hard for me to tell from a video. There we go. Time to close it out. Is it time to close it out? Maybe not. He's not done with it. <laughs> oh, she's not healing anymore. So he just finishes the job. All right, good stuff, Limo. Let's take a look at those final stats and see. Oh, well, okay. Apparently, we did not get to see that. Oh, that's a shame. I would love to see the final part. I guess he just cut that out. So again, this is Limo AU because um, he's our Shalen. And that video is right there. Uh, go check him out. Obviously, hit that subscribe button. For obviously, this video, if you enjoyed it. Check Limo out because he clearly deserves a little bit more clout for this crazy world record run. I'm not going to lie. That was a very beautiful to see. Very meticulous for lack of a better word and if you're interested in seeing the one thousand dollar challenge that he did uh, which was getting a 20 bump without getting cracked that video is available on the screen right here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow